Hey guys, it's Kaylor. Welcome to the YouTube channel. So today we're going to be creating icons in Adobe Illustrator. In this tutorial, we're going to be making three separate ones. We're going to be doing a phone, an envelope, and a lock icon. So I have three boxes that are just green for now on the screen. Each one is 128 pixels by 128 pixels, as you'll see here. And also on the stroke, I have selected an outside for the alignment on the stroke. That way we can put everything inside of this box and that'll make sure that all of our icons are nice and even 128 by 128. So I'm going to go ahead and lock this layer and let's start by creating our lock icon. Alright, so I'm going to start by renaming this layer lock and we're going to be creating this in the center box. So I'm going to start by dragging out a square and just placing it in the box. For the colors on this, we're going to be using a nice blue color and the color code on that is 0D92FF. Alright, so I'm going to make sure that on the bottom here, the box is inside the screen. So I'm going to do this by selecting stroke at the top, and over here I'm going to select inside on the align stroke. So that way we can drag down and it aligned right there. So everything is inside our box. So this is a little too tall, so I'm going to scale this down a bit. Something along there. And for our stroke sizes, we're going to be using two stroke sizes. The first one is going to be our large stroke size, which is going to be four. And we're also going to be using a border radius on some of these things. So to access that, click on Shape and you'll see these four boxes. Make sure you have this link, not like this, but like this, and then we're gonna put in six. And so that rounds all of our corners evenly. All right, so now we need to make the round part here, the top for the lock, so I'm gonna grab a square, and I'm gonna hold shift on that as I drag it out, and I'm gonna line that up center. I'm gonna select both of these, and just make sure they're aligned centered by selecting this right here. And also I need to go to stroke and make sure that is on inside as well. I'm going to line that up to the top so it's touching right there and it's inside the green box. And let's make this a little wider. Something about like that. I'm going to press A which gives me the direct selection tool or you can select it by clicking here. And I'm going to select on this point and hold shift and select this point. That'll give me these two circles for these two border radiuses, and I can drag them in to make that shape there. All right, and then I'm also going to drag this up, and I'm going to hold Alt and drag out, which will scale both sides evenly to about there, I think, for now. Since I have um, this already rounded, I'm going to drag it back out for a second, and I'm going to make this wider as well. Then I'm going to do the same thing holding shift, grabbing both of those, and dragging them down. Let's adjust this box a little more. Something like that looks good. Okay, so now we have to remove this little piece here. So to do this, I'm going to click on that one, hold shift, and select this one. Go to Object, Expand Appearances. Then I'm going to hit Shift M on my keyboard, which will give me the Shape Builder tool, or you can select this button right here. I'm going to hold Alt and click on this piece. Sorry, I misclicked. There we go. And now we have our lock shape. So the next thing we need to do is create the lock hole. To do that, I'm going to grab a square again and just drag out a rectangle, something like that. V for my selection tool and I'm going to center this up. Next I'm going to grab the direct selection tool again and on the corners I'm going to drag them all in so it looks like that. And let's position that correctly. I'm going to select everything make sure it's all aligned. On this we're going to select this which is going to reverse the fill in the stroke and on this stroke this is our second size stroke we're going to be using which is two. So the big stroke is 4 and the little stroke is 2. I actually think I want this a little larger so I'm going to hold Alt and scale outward. 
then I need to drag that back down in. So that's looking pretty good. And now we can add a little bit of highlights to this. I'm going to grab my pen tool. Over here on the side, I'm going to select the point, hold shift for a straight line. You'll see it snaps. I'm going to go straight down and about there, click again. So we have a line like that. I'm going to select it with my uh, selection tool and make sure the stroke is set to 2. If we select the stroke panel, we can also add a rounded cap to this so that it looks like that. The next thing I'm going to do is down here in the corner, I want kind of a bend. So I'm going to grab my pen tool again and I'm just going to freehand out a little corner like that. And then I'm going to select it with my selection tool on the stroke panel. We can adjust the corner to make it rounded as well. Then I'm going to drag this out so that it looks pretty good in the corner like that, trying to match the spacing there. Something like that looks pretty good. Now with my direct selection tool, I'm going to adjust some of these points. So I'm going to drag this one down a bit and this one in. With my pen tool again, I'm going to go out to the side, holding shift, click another point. So we have that. That's looking pretty good. All right, so lastly, I'm going to expand uh, this, this line, that line, and that line. So object, expand, and make sure fill and stroke is selected. And you'll see that it went from a stroke to a filled in object. And if we select everything and command G, we have our finished lock. The reason we expanded that is when we scale it down, the stroke will no longer stay the same size. So we have a nice little lock icon. All right, so on to the next icon. All right, so I've created a new layer called Mail, and I've added a lock onto the lock layer so we can't touch it. I'm going to grab the rectangle tool and drag out a rectangle in this square now. And I'm going to reverse that to a stroke. I'm also going to make sure that we align the stroke on the inside. And for the size, we're going to do four. In the corner, we're also going to do our six pixel radius. Okay. And let's make sure this is lined up right. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to make this a little taller. So something like, uh, like that. And then I'm going to center that up. So I'm actually going to go to align to artboard and center that up because I am actually in the center of my artboard. Change that back. Okay. So now we have the shape of our envelope. So now I'm going to grab the pen tool on this line right here. I'm going to click and I'm going to go until I find the center point. I'm going to go down just a bit, click again, and then I'm going to make sure this is even. So you see I'm using my smart guides and I'm going to click on that edge. So now we have that. You'll see we have this little end bit. That's okay. Uh, this size is going to be our two point stroke. There we go. And I'm actually going to move that just a little bit upward. And now all we have to do is add our little highlight effect. So I'm going to go in the corner. I'm going to click, hold shift, click again. All right. And then I'm going to make sure that is a rounded cap. And it's also a stroke of two points. So now we can just hold alt and click and drag on that. And then I'm going to grab the direct selection tool and I'm going to drag this a little bit longer, something like that. Whoops, sorry. Like that. And then we can, with our selection tool, hold Alt and copy it again. And then this time I'm just going to transform and scale it down a little bit. So there we go. That is our envelope. So now what we have to do is select this little bend, object, expand, OK. I'm going to hold, or actually let's expand this first, object, expand appearance, OK. So I'm going to grab this and then hold shift and grab our bend. I'm going to zoom in with my shape builder tool, that's shift M. I'm going to hold alt and get rid of that. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Hold Alt and get rid of that. Okay. Now we just select all of our little highlight lines. 
and we're going to expand those as well. Okay. So now I'm going to group that. And you'll see if I copy this, we can scale it down. And there's our little icon. Next, let's move on to the phone icon. All right, so I have a new phone layer, and I've also locked the mail layer. And you'll notice as we're going through this last icon how easy it is actually to make icons once you've set up like your, your rules for making this. So we're using a four point on the thick line, a two point on that, and we're adding caps to all our highlights. So it's really easy to create icons after you set those rules for yourself. So now we're going to create a rectangle, something like that. I'm going to center that up in the box. I'm going to make sure my stroke is on the inside of this. Actually, first got to make this a stroke, then I can check that. And then for the points, we're going to do four, and we're also going to do our radius of six in the corners. So we have that for our foam. Now I'm going to use my pen tool, and I'm going to drag a line out like that. I'm going to select it, and I'm going to make sure that my strokes have a rounded cap on them. And I'm going to drop the points down on this one to two. Okay, I'm going to center that up and drag it down just a bit. Now for our home button on our phone, I'm going to grab the ellipse tool. I'm going to hold shift and drag out. Just a little circle and then I'm going to make sure that's centered. And I'm going to position around there. So now I'm going to drag this down just a bit. I'm going to hold Alt and scale it in just a bit. It's a little too big. So there we go. And now we're just going to add a highlight similar to this, but straight down through here. So about where the screen of our phone would go. I'm going to grab my pen tool, something like that. And then I'm going to do a little bitty one. And then on the other side, I'm going to do one that's just a bit longer than that one. I'm going to space these out. Whoops. Something like that. And move that one out more. I'm going to grab all of these. And I'm going to center them up like that. Move them down. Around there. So there is our phone. Lastly, all we have to do is expand everything. So object, expand appearances on our outline. Then on our strokes. Grab our circle, holding shift to select all of them. Object, expand, and then we can group them up. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed making these cool line icons in Adobe Illustrator. If you guys decide to make some of your own, make sure you link them down in the description. I'd really like to see them. If you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And as always, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey guys, it's Kaler. Thanks for watching the video. Click here to subscribe to my channel for new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. If you want to see this channel grow even more, don't forget to share this video. You can click the share button down below. Over here is YouTube's recommendation just for you, so go check out that video and let me know what you think in the comments. Up here is my newest video, and if you haven't seen it already, go give it a thumbs up. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.